Now we're going to go ahead and introduce a concept called reversing URLs that will help us handle URL changes like this. It's still a dynamic URL. And so to do this, we are in our URL patterns. I'm just going to go ahead and add a name here and call it article dash detail. So this name is now a unique name to all URLs on my page. In other words, in my entire application, I do not want to use article detail ever again. Instead, it'd be something more like article create. So what we can do is in our models, we can actually come in here and use that article detail name in generating this get absolute URL. So to do that, we can come in and say something like this from django.urls import reverse. And so this reverse is going to take in a couple things. So we're going to go ahead and return reverse. We pass in the name. First, I'll just go ahead and say article dash create, right? So this one is not a dynamic URL. It's simply a create view, right? A simple URL that takes no arguments in. So it's not dynamic. So now when we do that, of course, if I refresh in here, all of these links are the same, which we could test out by opening a few of them. And as we see, they're all the same. So that's probably not surprising. So naturally, we can actually make this based off of the detail view, and we could save that. So if you save it like this and refresh, now I get this reverse article with no arguments. So we actually have to pass in arguments for this. Now, in this case, we actually have keyword arguments. So I can say keyword args equals to and pass in the slug and self.slug. So of course, the keyword arguments are mapped directly to the URL, this argument right here, not the data type, but rather the actual argument name itself, which will test a change in a moment. Uh, but now if we change it like that and refresh in here, now I have those URLs actually working all over again. Now, there certainly is a way to do this inside of templates. I just don't recommend it. I think it's much better to use the instance method of get absolute URL on a template itself. However, that being said, we can still do it in here. I just want to show you how to do that. And we write out URL and then quotes. And then we want to start off again with article dash create, right? So we save that and then we refresh in here. And yet again, it is doing that article create view. Now, this of course is really useful when we create all kinds of navigation links. So in this home view, this is actually going to be great for if we wanted to say a href equals to you know, that article create, so create article, right? That actually makes a lot of sense to do that kind of URL. The article detail, on the other hand, it does not make sense exactly to do it here because we're hard coding a lot of things. So if I refresh in here, I see that again, it's not giving me a match. And of course, this is not what we want. Instead, what we want is to pass in the arguments themselves. And so what we'll do is we'll pass in slug equals to x.slug. And of course, in this case, X is just the iterable variable that we have there. So we save that and we refresh in here. And now yet again, it is the correct URLs. So I tend to stay away from something like this because in the case of my actual object, the actual model itself, I'm going to always be using that get absolute URL method everywhere. It's just nice to know that this exists. So if for some reason you were wanting to have a specific article hard coded and highlighted, what I would end up doing for that is, well, I probably would be, you know, actually getting it in the view. But if I were to want it and put it in the templates, I would put it something like this as hello world and then having hello world article right here. Now there are times where this actually does make sense. We're down here. It's based off of the instance itself. So we would always use get absolute URL and we save that. And then we can refresh in here and notice that I'm having could not parse remainder from hello world. And that's because I do want to make this a string still, right? I don't want to just put the slug in. And so I can refresh in here. And now I've got this hello world article link here. I've got the create article link. And then all of my other ones are also coming in. So there is still one more method that we can use for reversing URLs. I'm not going to talk about that yet, uh, but it has something to do with an include where if we wanted to move our URLs out somewhere else, much like what we see right here. But again, I'll save that for another time. Uh, 
But for now, that's just reversing URLs. Um, one last thing I will mention before we leave is where else you might end up using this. Um, and that, of course, is inside of a create view. So something else we could do in a create view is we can return a redirect using that get absolute URL method here. So get absolute URL. So that's the way I typically do it. But you could also reverse it in the sense that you use article detail and then you could pass in the actual arguments here as well. So article and then dot or article object rather and then dot slug. So this is another way to actually redirect a create view. And this is this redirect right here is a shortcut much like the actual reverse one. Uh, but this does it right there. So let's go ahead and give that a shot now. So we'll refresh in here, go to create article and we'll say another new one with some gibberish and hit create article and notice it actually does redirect that. And if I do it again, um, it gives me this title error. That's a validation error that we don't need. But anyway, so I go ahead and create another one and what do you know? There we go. Um, so that's also another nice way to use redirects. But again, it's not necessarily something I would be doing. I would be more doing something more like return redirect of the actual string of article dot get absolute URL. So to each his own, um, this I think is a little bit more robust. This is actually what Django ends up using for a lot of the class-based views, views that we haven't really discussed yet, uh, but shortcut convenience methods, and this is just one of them. <laughs>